Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on Tuesday, June 28th, 2016 at 1445 Eastern Time. Uh, as always, the march of the absurd continues. Uh, right now, at the end of the driveway, there's one of these little bobcatty things going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on the gravel part of the driveway. Just seems to be shifting it about. I don't know what the what all that's in aid of, but back and forth, back and forth. Beep, 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 moving around the gravel that's already there. <laughs> Seemed fine to me when I drove in and out of it this morning over to the wine store. Um, well, you know, as I've mentioned Paul's off today. Um, he goes back to work tomorrow. Uh, but he mentioned... He mentioned almost in passing to me this morning when we were sitting out on the porch enjoying the fine morning. Uh, he said, oh, I was in a car wreck on Sunday. <laughs> what? What? <coughs> and uh, uh, now, you know, the, the, the first telling of the story didn't reveal or show, there are no revelations in general surgery, uh, did not uh, disclose uh, some of the things I later found out by listening to his end of a telephone conversation with his insurance agent. Insurance agent called him. Um, and uh, to summarize, uh, Paul was backing into a parking space at our local UDF slash gas station about, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a little less than a quarter of a mile from our house, right about a quarter of a mile. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I, I, back, I, I try to back into parking spaces if I can, uh, because, uh, to me, it's a lot easier to see to back in than it is to, you know, back out into, you know, traffic going, you know, cars going either either way in the parking lot. Particularly in that truck, it's very hard to see out of that truck. I mean, now there's, you're just the side view mirrors. Uh, they basically give you a full field of view, even in what would be considered traditional blind spots. But anyway, so he was backing in. He had started to back in. He was about halfway into the space. Now he didn't see. He didn't see what really happened next. But the other individual involved admitted that she did this. She came out of the UDF, got into what was at the time she walked into it the potential space between her car and Paul's truck and proceeds to open her car door. Well, it was actually a small, uh, 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 one of these small Ford truck, not an F-150, there's one small, the Ranger type truck. Open the door. And Paul hit, hit the door with the right side or the passenger side bumper, right rear passenger side bumper on his truck. And sprung it. So it's very hard to close, very hard to open. Scratched the paint on his bumper a bit, but no substantial damage at all. So um, interestingly, he you know, he gave them his insurance information. They did not give him their insurance information, interestingly. And this is in a parking lot. This is not a state highway. Uh, so it's it's pure tort law, pure insurance and tort law here. Um, 
So I, I thought this would make a very good sort of law school question for f first year tours, you know. Proposed law school exam question. Ms. Jane Rowe brings suit against Mr. John Doe in a tort action alleging negligence on the part of the defendant in a matter involving a minor car accident. The facts of the case are not in substantial dispute. They are to wit, one, defendant was backing into a parking space in his 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 pickup truck. Two, the vehicle in which the plaintiff was intending to become a passenger was on defendant's passenger side. When the defendant, three, when the defendant was approximately halfway into the parking space, plaintiff approaches her car's passenger door in the soon-to-be gap between the two vehicles and opens the car door. Four, defendant then strikes the car door with the passenger side rear corner of his truck. Five, Plaintiff's door was sprung so as to not easily properly close or easily open after this collision. So that's, 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 those are, both sides agree to that. Additional alleged facts are defendant did not see the plaintiff in his side view mirror as he was backing into the space. Two, defendant alleges the plaintiff admitted to him that she did see him backing in, but proceeded into the potential gap anyway. The questions in this part of the examination are two. One, was the defendant negligent in his motor vehicle operation? Two, what sort of insurance settlement, if any, should the defendant's insurance company pay? Discuss, with reference to Ohio statutory and common law, and the general tort principles of proximate cause and general duty to behave with reasonable due care. I thought... I thought y'all might have some fun with that one, so uh, I'll say bye-bye, YouTubers.